Hello students, welcome to my class, my digital class on the YouTube channel. This is such a digital platform where you will get necessary help for your total English, text, grammar, writing and spoken English all in one. You will get video lessons of your syllabus regularly from this channel. I can't physically stay with you, but my lessons will be with you. My classroom will be always with you 24 hours. So follow the channel, subscribe to it and hit the bell for instant notification. Now come to your English. Your English syllabus has been designed very well. If you follow the syllabus carefully and regularly, you will one day become a master of this language. But attention and regularity is necessary. You have to follow our advice and guidelines and everything will be alright then. Now I would like to introduce you to your English syllabus, which is primarily divided into two sections theoretical section this one and this one is the practical section in the practical section this one is the practical section in the practical section you have to write a project on one of the three topics number one number two and number three in your syllabus it carries a weightage of 20 marks write a project on one of these three topics with the guidelines of your teacher let's see the topics number one developing a story the beginning of the story will be given in two or three sentences and number two dramatization of a story or dramatizing a story from within the syllabus or outside the syllabus dramatizing a story that means you have to form one drama, you have to make one drama out of a story. It may be the story from your syllabus or it may be any story out of the syllabus. And number three, writing an autobiography of an object, autobiography of a coin, a book, a river, etc. or a person. The student can write an autobiography of himself or herself. So these are the three topics you have to choose one for your project and it carries 20 marks. So this is the practical section, the project section carrying 20 marks and the theoretical section has 80 marks together 100 marks. The theoretical section has 80 marks. 50 for literature and 30 for language. The literature part has three sections, prose sections, poetry section and rapid reader section. Prose section has 20 marks, poetry section has 20 marks and rapid reader section has 10 marks. So 20 plus 20 plus 10, 50 marks. Okay. And the language section, total 30 marks. 10 marks for textual grammar and 10 marks for writing and 10 marks for English for special purpose ESP. Now see the literature section. The literature section you saw just now has three subsections prose, poetry that means verse and rapid reader section. Let's see what is there in prose section. This is the prose section and this section has one two three four five stories number one story is Leela's friend R.K. Narayan very interesting story number two Karmo Kuswan Singh number three Jimmy Valentine O. Henry number four Nobel lecture Mother Teresa and number five extract from the place of art in education, Nandalal Bos. This section has these five stories. And for these five stories, this section has 20 marks. Okay. Then the poetry section, that is a verse section. This section has also 20 marks. And this section has five poems. Number one, upon the Westminster Bridge, William Wordsworth. Number two, meeting at night, Robert Browning. 
and number three the Sikh Rose William Blake number four Brotherhood Octavio Paz and number five Daybreak H. W. Longfellow okay now come to the rapid section it carries 10 marks 20 for prose 24 bars and rapid has 10 together literature section has 50 marks the rapid reader is tales from Shakespeare by Charles Lamb and Mary Lamb and you are to read five tales number one Macbeth number two Othello number three the comedy of errors number four as you like it and number five twelfth night okay now come to the language section language section it has 30 marks the first one is grammar section it has 10 marks this is textual grammar 10 marks this section will be divided into two parts grammar and another part carrying three marks for fill in the blanks with article and preparation see what is there in the grammar section in the grammar section you will get voice change narration change change the mode of narration and transformation of sentences simple sentence complex compound degrees of comparison interchange of parts of speech affirmative to negative and vice versa gerund participle next joining of sentences simple complex and compound next splitting of sentences into two or more simple sentences and last one fill in the blanks with appropriate articles and preparation so one two three four five out of these five headings five elements you will get seven questions each carrying one marks total seven marks and from this fill in the blanks with appropriate articles and prevention you will get question six questions carrying each carrying half a mark together three marks so seven plus three together ten marks now come to the writing section it has 10 marks write a paragraph that is paragraph writing or story writing you will get two questions paragraph writing or a story writing you have to write only one and it will carry 10 marks for you okay and the last section that is ESP it carries 10 marks ESP means English English for special S meaning special special and P means purpose okay the ESP section has two things newspaper advertisement and commercial leaflet newspaper advertisement has all types classified and the commercial leaflet has commercial leaflet so you have to write one question from news for advertisement all types classified and one question from commercial leaflet carrying five marks together five plus five ten marks okay so for the practical section 20 and for the theoretical section 80 together 100 marks and for from the theoretical section you will get 20 marks for prose for prose 20 marks and 20 marks for bars poems and 10 marks for a rapid reader a rapid reader 50 marks and from the language section inside the theoretical section you have to do some textual grammar for 10 marks and you have to write a paragraph or a story for 10 marks and you have to write 
two short advertisement. One is a commercial leaflet for five marks, and another one is the advertisement. All types of advertisement classified for five marks together. 10 marks. So, 10 plus 10 plus 10, the language section has 30 marks. So, literature section has 50 marks and language section has 30 marks and the practical section that is project 20. So, 50 plus 30 plus 20 together 100. Now, I will show you your question. I want you to see your question from the very beginning of your class. Okay, see the question. This is the question. This type of question you will get in your annual examination. This question has three parts. The literature section has three parts. Number one, you know the prose. Prose means 20 marks. And number two, bars that is also 20 and number 3 rapid reader rapid reader that is 10 together 50 the literature section okay for the prose there are three questions question number 1 2 3 these three questions are for prose and question number 4 5 6 these are for part section and question number 7 and 8 for the rapid reader. Okay. Now, question number 1 MCQ for the prose A MCQ. See, 1, 2, 3, 4 alternatives will be given and you have to choose one. So, A, B, C, D, E, five questions. That is M, C, Q, M, C, Qs. Number two, it is called essay type, short answer type question. Each question carries one mark, one into five, together five marks. You have to answer five questions but you will get 10 questions, 2 questions from each prose piece, 2 questions from each prose piece. So, 2 questions from each prose piece and total prose pieces are 5, together you will get 10 questions and out of 10 questions you have to write 5 questions, each question carries 1 mark. So, together 5 into Together, 1 into 5 is equal to 5 marks for essay type questions from prose section. See the question. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. 10 questions. Okay. Now, number 3, the last question from the prose. And here you have to write two questions, but you will get five questions. One question from one story, one question from one prose piece. So you have five prose pieces. So you will get five questions from the prose sections, but you have to write two questions. Each question has five marks. So total marks. 5 into 2 together 10 marks okay so the prose section has first one first question 5 second question 5 and the third question is 10 together 20 marks these are the questions see the question 3 1 2 3 4 and 5 a b c d here ends your post section. Now, from question number 4 starts the verse section or poetry section. This section has also the same pattern. Question number 1 from the poetry section that is question number 4 is the 
MCQ MCQ type question. Here five questions out of five questions. Each question has one mark. So all total you will get for this question one into five is five. The same pattern as the pros. Okay. So the MCQs for poetry you got five questions for five marks. Now question number five. See the question one time. Question A you will get one alternative, two, three, four. Four alternatives will be given like this. See question number B. One alternative, two, three, four. You have to choose one. Okay. And C, D and E are here. Now question number five. This is the second question from the poetry section. But the fifth question from the total question paper. And it is the second question is essay type you know. Short answer type question. Each question carries one mark. So question number five has ten questions like the prose section. Ten questions. Two questions from each poetry piece, each poem. See the question. A, B, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Up to J. 10 questions. You will get two questions from each poetry piece or poem. So, two questions from five poetry pieces. Together you will get 10 questions. See, 10 questions. Out of 10 questions, you have to answer 5 questions and each question carries 1 mark. So together, this question has 1 into 5 is equal to 5. So question number 4 has 5, question number 5 has 5 and the next question, question number 6, the last question from the poetry section has 10 together 20. See the Next question. Question number six. You know you have to answer two questions. Each carries five marks. So five into two, ten marks. But here in this section you will get five questions. One, two, three, four, five. One question from each poem. So this question from one poem, this question from another poem, this question from another poem. This question is from another poem and this question is from another poem. Five questions from five poems. But you have to answer two questions. Okay. So, five into two together ten. This is called analytical type of questions or descriptive type of question. Okay. So, you have got your prose section plus poetry section okay 20 plus 20 is equal to 40 now come to the rapid reader section here you will get 10 questions you know 5 tails are there from each tail you will get 2 questions and 5 tails are there so together you will get 10 questions see 10 questions but you have to answer five question see attempt any five question and see you will get four alternatives for each question see the question question one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it ends at j so ten questions it is called mcq's type multiple choice type question okay and it has this section that rapid reader section has no short answer type question okay and this one the last one the second question from the rapid reader section has five questions from five tails one question from one tail each tail so, five tails are there. So, you will get 1, 2, 3, 
for five questions out of these five questions you have to answer only one see one question out of five questions and that question will carry five marks so five marks into one question is equal to total five marks okay so prose 20 poetry 20 and rapid reader 10 together 50. now come to the language section the language section the first this one is grammar textual grammar i told you before this section has seven question a b c d four five six seven you will get seven questions each question carries one so seven one into seven is equal to seven marks and you have already got the type rewrite the following sentences as directed without changing their meanings question one of the grammar section okay and question two of the grammar section is fill in the blanks with appropriate articles and preparations each blank carries half a mark so six blanks are there so together half into six is equal to three so seven plus three the grammar section has 10 marks okay now come to the writing the writing you know two writings are there one is the paragraph writing the other one is the story writing but that will be or you have to write this or that see here write a paragraph in about 150 or 200 words on the achievements of indian women in sports one paragraph points are given or one story is given develop the following outline into a short story so you have to write one paragraph or a story and it carries 10 marks okay now come to the esp section the esp section one section you know that is newspaper advertisement here you will get two questions question 11 has two parts this one or this one so you have to write one out of two questions and for this five marks will be given five marks ESP has 5 plus 5 together 10 marks and for the last question here also two questions are given you have to write one leaflet writing here it is leaflet here it is leaflet the subjects are different you have to choose one subject either this or this and you will get if it is correct you will get five marks so this is the pattern of your question that your total marks are 100 and it is divided into two parts number one theoretical parts theoretical parts and number two practical part in the practical part you have to write a project and for this 20 marks are given and for the theoretical part 80 marks are kept the theoretical part has two sections number one literature section literature section it has 50 marks and number two that is language section it has 30 marks together 80 marks and practical 20 100 the language section has three parts number one the prose section and this prose section has five prose pieces and section 2 that is poetry section and this poetry section has five poetry pieces five poems and the third one that is called the rapid reader section the name of your rapid reader is tales from Shakespeare Charles Lamb and Mary Lamb and you have to read five tales so for the five tales 10 marks are kept so rapid reader 10 poetry 20 and prose 20 together 20 plus 20 plus 10 50 now the language section the language section has three parts number one is grammar 
and in the grammar section you will get two questions first question is do as directed type questions and you will get seven questions each question will carry one mark and the second question from the grammar section will be given on fill in the blanks with appropriate article and preparation each blank carries half a mark so half into six the three marks together seven plus three ten marks and in the ESP section English for special purpose you have to answer two questions number one that is 11 you will get two you will get two questions that means two subjects you have to choose one it will be given with or one question or this question you have to write one according to your choice and liking and for that five marks will be given and the last question question number 12 that is leaflet writing two subjects will be given you have to choose one and write a leaflet and for that you will be given five marks okay so five plus five ten and another writing ten twenty and ten grammar the language section has together 30 marks so 30 plus 50 80 plus practical section 20 this is your 100 marks okay students this much now i'll soon come back with one video lesson for you watch the video and start your syllabus right now right today so stay attached stay tuned if you want the lesson regularly and instantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell share the lessons and the channel information with your friends and classmates so that they may also get some help from this channel thank you for your patience and participations see you soon